If you combine hydrogen and oxygen together, only one thing is possible to make. This is a synthesis reaction because two things, hydrogen and oxygen, are becoming one single thing, the most common hydrogen oxygen product you can think of, water. But you can also consider it to be a combustion because hydrogen burning in oxygen will also give you the H2O product. I should write that this was a gas, hydrogen's a gas at room temperature, oxygen's a gas. Now the water, whether or not that makes liquid water or gaseous water is gonna depend on whether you physically burn the two or like if you're doing this at a cooler temperature or not. Your teacher shouldn't care whether you use gas or liquid unless they already told you which one they wanted. So hydrogen and oxygen mix water, beautiful. Let's balance it together. I have two oxygens here, but I only have one here, so I'm gonna to need to crank that up, multiply it by two. But now I have four hydrogens on the right, and I need four here. How do I turn two to four? I double it. That's it. Burning hydrogen in wa uh, oxygen gives you water. End of story. Anyone who tells you that it makes hydrogen peroxide is absolutely wrong. It does not make H2O2. That's what noob kids tell you when they think they just get to ram these two formulas together. It's not how it works. H generally brings a charge of plus one, and O generally brings a charge of minus two. You crisscross those to make a formula, you're gonna get H2O, not H2O2. Hey, accept it. Best of luck.